service. Amen. Oh, praise God. This eighth anniversary service of the pastor and the church. Amen. Praise God. Thank God amen, for another opportunity. Amen. To be in fellowship with you here in the beginning. Amen. In Jesus' name. I'm going to amen, turn this portion of the service over hands of Minister Young. Amen. He's going to present the uh, mass choir. Amen. Praise God. And he'll give us a selection, I guess, and then he'll come back and receive our offering. Final selection. Praise God. We'll go from there in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. Thank God for being here one more time. Not to a strange place, but a very familiar place. Amongst a very familiar people. It don't matter if I just met you tonight, if you have the Holy Ghost and fire like I have, you're familiar with Jesus. Praise the Lord. Because we're family. And we believe in that one God. Not three, not two, but one God. And his name is Jesus Christ. And he is my Lord, and he is your Lord. And he is my Savior, and he's your Savior. So if we walk in the light as he is in the light, the Bible says we have fellowship one with another. And that fellowship not only means to be friends, but it's we have a partnership. We're sharing in the same love. We're sharing in the same grace. Sharing in the same life. So you're familiar to me. I don't need to know your name, but you're familiar. I just thank God for being here, giving honor to the Spirit of Christ, who's the head of my life. I thank God for my pastor, Ella Allen, my sister, Pastor Ella David, my wife, Sister Valerie Harris. Harris, young. You would think after four years I would not make that mistake. But uh, I thank God for being here. I thank God for seeing my brother, Ella Dickinson, again. Just being in the back and back in the house of the Lord one more time. At this time, we're going to have the mass choir to come forth and sing their first selection this time. Amen. So let's receive them by saying hallelujah. hallelujah. selection today. Amen. How many of you love the Lord today? Amen. How many truly love the Lord today? Amen. So we come, we come to you saying, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Yes, I love you. How I love you. I really love you. Just for who you are and all of your glory. Pray for us in Jesus' name.
we ate as often as we read the Bible, we put uh, the Atkins diet out of business, Dick Gregory, and all those other diets, because you know a lot of times we just overlook the Word. The, the Word of God is what is going to keep us. Right? Not singing, not just church attendance on its own, but the Word of God and your love for it. So I would, I would exhort you tonight to, if you're not into the Word, to get into the Word. If you're in, into church and into church service, but not into the Word, something's missing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I love the Word. See, you can, you can only be in church maybe about eight hours a week. That's usually how much I'm in church, in church service a week. But you're in the presence of God all the time. So God sees you all the time. You're representing Jesus all the time. So if you don't get any Word in you, then you ain't going to stand. So let's receive the mass choir by saying hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Start talking about worship. Amen. Praise God. Says, Oh Lord, I guess we're on the same accord here. Amen. Gave me a passage and said, What am I supposed to do with this? Amen. Praise God. But I thank God. Amen. He's an on time God. Praise the Lord. Psalms 65, just first verse, praise waiteth for thee, O God, in Zion, and unto thee shall the vow be performed. Matthews chapter 5, if you have it, say amen. amen. Verse 20. For I say unto you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Verse 23 and 24, Therefore if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there rememberest that thy brother hath aught against thee, leave there thy gift 
before the altar. And go thy way first, be reconciled to thy brother. And then come and offer thy gift. Can we say amen? amen. One more passage, St. John chapter 4. St. John chapter 4. Verse 23. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Why don't you? Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. we must worship him, we must worship him. In, spirit in spirit and in truth. Praise God. Let's get along. Praise God. Amen. So those who do go on, amen, hear me over and over saying the same thing, amen. Praise God. One of the things that I'm finding out, amen, praise God, that unless you have a private, personal relationship with God, amen, your own private, personal devotion with Him, we're not going to get too much out of you when you come here. Praise the Lord. Amen. Too many times we try to get it all in your head. Praise God. But you have to develop a prayer life apart from Tuesday night prayer, Friday night prayer, whenever you, you have it at the church. Amen. Praise God. You have to get an attitude of prayer. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. So that when we come to the house of God. Amen. There's not a lot of comfort and priming and, and telling people or admonishing them to let's praise God because it's already there. It's a part of your life. Amen. 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 How many know what I'm talking about? Are you one of those saints that have to be warmed up? Praise the Lord. Amen. The psalmist said, I will enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. I will enter in that way. So I'm already coming in with an attitude that I'm thankful. Praise God. Amen. And with an attitude of praising God. Amen. Why? Because, amen, there's a song that the old folks used to sing. All day long, my mind was stayed on him. Many of us, and then our minds only turn to God when it's church night. Praise the Lord. When it's time to come to the house of the Lord and, and we try to strain to get ourselves, amen, in a condition, amen, to come into the house of God and, and to praise him. And let me tell you something. You can't praise him, neither can you worship him if you don't have a relationship with him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. You can come in here, you can sweat, you can jump, you can holler, you can shout, and wonder why. Amen. Praise God. Amen. The only thing that's happening is you is there's a physical exertion, but there's no 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 substance to it. No 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 relief and no, no uh, assurance that God is accepting what I'm doing. Praise the Lord. Now, Psalm 65 and 1, I, I want to deal with that in Matthew's chapter 5. Amen. Praise God. It, it, that, that first verse deals with the fact that, amen, praise God. Let me, let me read it from the Amplified Version. And it says, to you belongs silence, the submissive wonder of reverence, which bursts forth into praise and, and praise is due and fitting to you, O God, in Zion. And to you shall the vow be performed. In other words, what they're saying here, praise God, is that everything has been put in place for us to worship you. 
Praise the Lord. I mean, all, all of the, the things that needed to have been done have been done, and now we are ready, and then we are waiting the entering in of your presence. Amen. Praise God. Amen. The church say amen. amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. But so many of us, praise God, we don't prepare to worship God. Praise the Lord. Amen. We don't condition ourselves. We don't get ourselves to the point, amen, praise God, where our praise can be accepted with God. Church, say amen. amen. In, in, in Matthew chapter 5, he says, For I say unto you, verse 20, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees. Amen. And he goes on, amen, praise God, to delineate some of the things, amen, that they do. And in and, and, and most particular, verse 23, therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, in other words, amen, they're going to worship God. Amen. And they're taking their gift, their sacrifice to the temple, praise God. The altar, amen, praise God, was in the temple. And, and they were going up to worship God. And, and I'm taking my, my sacrifice with me, praise God. And he's telling them, amen, praise the name of our God. That, amen. And there, remembrance that thy brother has an ought against you. Not that you have won against him, but you have that, that he has won against you, amen, praise God. He's telling you to stop. You're not ready to worship me. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Let the church say, help me, Lord. Help me to be ready, praise God. Amen. So when I begin to read this, amen, praise God, and, and so many times, amen, many of us, we're of the attitude where, amen, I didn't do anything to them, but that's not the point. If you know that there's something wrong, praise God, amen, praise God, it's time to get it right, praise God. Let the church say amen. amen. Too many of us are trying, amen, praise God, to, to get in the presence of God, amen, and we're not ready, praise God. Amen, we haven't done the things that we needed to do to prepare so that we can truly say that my soul waiteth upon thee, O Lord. Let the church say amen. Oh, bless the name of the Lord, praise God. But here, amen, the Lord is telling, amen, praise God, amen, the, the, his disciples, praise God, that, amen, leave that sacrifice, amen, praise God, at the altar, praise God. Don't even attempt, amen, praise God, to, to put it upon the altar, praise God, because it will not be accepted, praise God. Now, amen, but something has to be straightened out, amen. Something has to be made right, praise God. Now, let the church say amen. Amen, you wonder so many many times, amen, praise God, amen, when the saints of God, I'm not talking about the unregenerated sinner, amen, but when we come together, praise God, amen, and we try, for the glory to God, to send up, amen, praises to God, amen, we try, praise God, amen, to get on one accord, praise God, and it seems so difficult, it seems that we're being hindered, praise God, amen, well, many of times, amen, amen, all we have to do is look in the Amen. And we realize, praise God, that there are isms and there are schisms that are going on, praise God, in our lives, hallelujah. Amen. And even over these things, we're pressing and trying to worship God. But the Lord is telling us, praise God, amen, if you're going to worship me, praise God, amen, in true worship, oh, bless the name of the Lord, everything is going to have to be in order. Oh, glory to God. Amen. There's going to be nothing, praise God, that the enemy can use to get a toehold. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Let the church say amen. But we'll stand over here and we'll sit over there. And then we're not talking to one another, but we're praising the same God. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Let me tell you something. The only one that is getting glory out of that is Satan himself. Praise God. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. But the Lord says here, be reconciled. And that word reconcile there means to be changed, praise God. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. In other words, things can't stay the same. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, glory to God. If it is time for us, praise God. Even if we're going to worship God, you glory to God in spirit and in truth. And if our worship is going to be effective, oh, glory to God. And see, when you worship God, you're telling him how much he is worth to you. Oh, glory, hallelujah. And thank you, Lord. 
that when you come to him, amen, when things are all out of order, and you try to worship him, you're giving him anything. You're giving him something he doesn't want, something that he doesn't value, praise God. So you're telling him, praise God, God, you're not worth much of anything to me. But let me tell you something. When I approach God, amen, I want everything to be in order. Oh, thank you, Lord. I want the Lord to understand and to know. Amen. Bless the name of the God. When I come before you, I'm not coming for foolishness. I'm not hiding anything. Oh, thank you, Lord. But I want to bask in your glow. Oh, thank you, Father. And let me tell you something. When you do it the right way, oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here comes your breakthrough. Here comes the blessing. Oh, thank you, Lord. When it goes up as a sweet smelling Savior in his nostrils, praise God. Then God sends down the blessing. Oh, thank you, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. And we're standing here. We're waiting for a blessing. Oh, thank you, Lord. But we're not right. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. We're not on a call. We're not in agreement. Husband's not speaking to wife. Amen. But they're in the same church. And they're saying they're going to see the same God. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. But somebody oh, needs to get the vision that if we're going to do this thing right, we've got to be reconciled one to another. Oh, thank you, Lord. I want my sacrifice to be accepted with God. Let the church say amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Too many of us are leaving here with our gift not being accepted by God. And you're wondering, praise God. Amen. I came in one way, feeling bad, and I'm going out feeling worse. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. I believe when you come to the house of God, amen, that you should not away. The same hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. I believe, I know you can get your deliverance at home. I know you can get it on the job. But I believe hallelujah, if it don't happen in those places, you should be able to come into the assembly of the saints. Oh, thank you, Lord. Because so every now and then, you need somebody to agree with you in prayer. Every now and then, you need somebody to Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory to God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Amen. I wonder, can we say as the psalmist? Amen. Bless God. Everything is ready. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Everything is in order. Praise God. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. I'm in fellowship with my brother. My brother is in fellowship with me. My sister's in fellowship with the other sisters. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Can't you see what the enemy is trying to do to us? Glory to God. Hallelujah. He's trying to get us, praise God, at odds with one another. Oh, thank you, Lord. He's saying if I can just get a hold of one of them, I can, hallelujah, put a damper on the service. If I can just get a hold of two, amen, I can stop somebody from getting their blessing. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. But I'm a firm believer. Even even though I'm preaching right now, if you got an off with somebody, or you know somebody in here that has one with you, you ought to get up right now and straighten that thing out. Why? Because I want my sacrifice to be accepted. Not only that, but I want my blessing from the Lord. Praise God. Let the church say, "Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord." Oh, thank you, Lord. But somebody say, Oh, hallelujah. I don't want anybody looking at me. Amen. That seems strange and out of order. But you don't know, praise God. God can come at any minute. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. You see those at the Pentagon. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Nobody gave them a warning that a plane was going to hit. Hallelujah. The point is, I want to be ready. Every day, every minute of the day. Let the church say amen. Thank you, Lord. I don't have time to sit and muse about what's going on. And my complaint about somebody else. The Lord is telling you today, get it right straight. Get it right, praise God. Let the church say amen. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Amen. But if you're doing it the other way, praise God, then your righteousness is no more, no better than the scribe and the Pharisee. Amen. Who, hallelujah, who subscribe, praise God, to an external holiness. But God is saying, no, hallelujah. This thing goes from the inside out, not from the outside. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Let the church say amen. He's telling you if you're going to be my disciples, if you're going to follow me, praise God, you're going to have to be holy on the inside. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Not only, praise God, amen, must you be holy in your actions, but in your thoughts, praise God. Let the church say amen. Thank you, Lord. And I thank God for his word because he declared in his word that his word is quick and it's powerful. He went on down to say it's a design, praise God, of the thoughts and intents of the heart, praise God. I don't know, praise God, amen, how he does it, but the word of the spoken word of God, amen, will discern what's down in your heart, the things that you hold private, the things that you hold close. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. See, we serve a God that will get all in your business. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Bless the name of God. And see, some of us don't like that. But if you're going to be holy, if you're going to serve a holy God, He is looking, praise God, for His people to be holy. Oh, thank you, Lord. Not only in word only. Amen. But in from the heart. Oh, glory to God. Amen. I long to see the day, saints. Amen. When we come into God's house. Oh, thank you, Lord. We will prepare. Oh, hallelujah. Why? Amen. Bless God because I believe God wants to take us a little higher in Him. Praise God. Let the church say amen. Thank you, Lord. I believe when people of God get on one accord, then things can happen in the house of God. Oh, the Spirit of God can flow. The Spirit of God, hallelujah, can convict the sinner. Let the church say amen. Thank you, Lord. But when they hindrances in the building praise God amen bless God God can't do what he wants to do what he needs to do oh thank you Lord can we say amen hallelujah 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 oh thank you Lord amen I guess you better, better give me my topic my topic is people prepared to worship God oh glory to God hallelujah amen bless the name of the Lord Amen. We come to the house of God every and any old kind of way. And I'm talking about those that are saying that they're saved, that they're filled with the Holy Ghost, that they love the Lord. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. But there's something about, praise God, when the people of God get together. Amen. Bless God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Bless God. And nobody's got to complain about the other. Amen. Praise God. Everything has been straightened out. I've seen people just worshiping God and folks receiving the Holy Ghost. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Don't you know, praise God, that when you get all of these things straight, amen, the enemy doesn't have anywhere to get a toehold in. Oh, glory to God. But if you're not happy with somebody over here, amen, you're giving the enemy a place, praise God, to begin to work. Hallelujah. Amen. But your mindset ought to be, I don't want him to have a place in this place, praise God. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Yes, he's going to show up. Hallelujah. But I declare he does not have to stay. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. I believe. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If all of us right now in here, amen, bless the name of the Lord, we just begin to worship God. Amen. And before we worship, make sure everything is in order. Amen. You will see a difference in here. You will see miracles being performed. Oh, glory to God. You see yokes being broken, praise God. Destroyed rather. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. God, hallelujah. He inhabits the praises of his people, praise God. Let the church say amen. I know he says, let everything that hath breath praise ye the Lord. But it's special when it comes from his people. Oh, glory to God. For his people alone know how to worship him in spirit and in truth. Oh, glory to God. Let the church say amen. So when you go before, oh, hallelujah, just like that high priest, 
when he went in on that hallelujah on that high day that day of atonement praise God he had to go and clean oh bless the name of the Lord that ought to be our mentality I'm going in praise God into the presence of God and when I go there oh hallelujah Pastor Dickinson I want to be clean I want to be righteous I want to be right oh bless the name of the Lord let the church say amen and they tell me praise God that the hem of his robe he had some bells on there and that let the people know while he was behind the veil if those bells were ringing he was still alive oh glory to God but if the bells ever stopped that means he went in not right praise God oh glory to God and I don't know about you but I don't want the bells to stop I want them to keep ringing and ringing and ringing oh bless the name of the Lord let the church say amen glory to God glory hallelujah when you go before him you must go right oh thank you Lord you can't take jealousy beyond the veil you can't take envy beyond the veil you can't take strife beyond the veil oh hallelujah bless the name of the Lord hallelujah glory to God what are you saying preacher I'm saying praise God I want to experience the fullness of the presence of God oh bless God hallelujah thank you Lord thank you Lord Oh, the Lord of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come on, saints. Oh, don't let the devil get the victory. Don't hallelujah. You've been winning too many battles. Oh, the Lord of God. It's time to stand up. It's time, glory to God. The devil praise God. And if you want too many battles, oh, the Lord of God, I see what you're doing. Oh, thank you, Lord. But today, hallelujah. I'm going to turn this thing around. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, hallelujah. Yes, it's important. Amen, that you think good of everyone. But even those that you know that don't think good of you. Your brothers, praise God. Your sisters, it's time to come and reason with them. It's time to put forth the effort. Amen, to go across town. Oh, thank you long before you get to the service. Oh, glory to God. And sit down and reason this thing out. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Why are you doing this? Why are you putting forth this effort? Because I want my sacrifice to be accepted. Oh, thank you, Father. Even in my private prayer, I want my sacrifice to be accepted. I can't enter into my secret closet until I get these things straight. I can't go to God, travail and labor before the Lord until I get these things straight. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Stop trying to pray over sin. Stop trying to pray over division. Stop trying to fast over confusion. Oh, thank you, Lord. The Lord is saying reconcile it. Get it straight. Come into agreement. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There ought to be a difference when the people of God come together. Glory to God. I know everybody's speaking in tongue now. Glory to God. I know everybody, praise God, is dancing and shouting and leaping and jumping now. But there ought to be a difference in God's church, praise God. Oh, the glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The real spirit of God ought to be present. Oh, hallelujah. That uninhibited power, the spirit of God, ought to be enforcing our services, praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Can we say thank you, Lord? Can we say thank you, Lord? Hallelujah. Oh, blood of God, I want you to think about yourself as that priest. Amen. Praise God. Entering into that tabernacle. Praise God. 
into that inner court, hallelujah, in a compartment, praise God. Oh, glory to God, that compartment where the true satisfaction is. Oh, thank you, Lord. But to go in, you got to be holy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name. God wants to speak to us. He wants to talk to us. Oh, yeah, my God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He wants you to be closer to him. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 But these sins, these iniquities, these, 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 these cues, these, 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 these attitudes, praise God. Keep them at a distance, praise God. Hallelujah. Often say, praise God, I, I, I want to walk so close to him, praise God. Amen, praise God, how that he can just turn and just whisper in my ear. Anything he wants to say, praise God. I don't want a relationship with, with him, praise God, where he has to yell across this room, hallelujah, to get my attention, but I, be, I want to be right beside him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Elijah, Elijah walked so close to Elijah before he was caught up. Tell, amen, praise God, it, 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 that when they were separated, it knocked the sun down. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. I want to be so close to God. Oh, glory to God. What affects him affects me. Oh, glory to God. God has feelings. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I don't want to see out of my eyes, but I want to see out of his eyes. Oh, glory to God. I want to feel what he feels. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Can you see him, praise God? Every time we come together, hallelujah. He's looking for us to be in agreement. He's looking for us to be on one accord. Oh, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. And we come too many times and we disappoint him, praise God. Because we're bringing all of this stuff, all of this baggage, amen, that he's telling us to lay aside. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let us stand. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. 